reign supreme. You are the king of all kings this morning and the Lord of all lords. And in you we have liberty. In you we have praise this morning and we just want to worship you. Give God praise this morning because it, he deserves it. He is God and God alone this morning and there is none like him. None can compare this morning. He is the ruler of heaven and earth this morning and for that we worship him. Glory be your name this morning. As we introduce the choir, get yourself ready to march in this morning. I will bless thee, O Lord. I will bless thee, O Lord. With the heart of thanksgiving, I will bless thee, O Lord. With the hands lifted. name this morning. You are worthy, Lord. R now we will call on Shelleen Wheatley to do our opening prayer. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, you are worthy, mighty God. Lord, there is none like you, God. Father, there is none that can be compared to you. You are the God of the impossible. You are righteous. Mighty God, you are faithful. God, you will never leave us, mighty God. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, mighty God, for allowing me, God, to get a second chance, God, to be able to say glory to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. There's nothing, mighty God, nothing in this world, God, you cannot do. 
God, it doesn't matter the situation that we are going through. You are the God of the impossible. God, when things seem as though they are not going according to our plan, Father, you are faithful. Lord, this morning I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that we will forget about that thing that is hindering us from serving the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Father, this morning I pray we'll forget about that circumstances that is standing before us this morning. We are in the house of the Lord. We are alive. We are well, so we should be giving God that glory glory that he deserve there's nothing god cannot do there is nothing in this world god cannot do he is the one who created the heavens and the earth he is the one who said let there be and there was father forgive us of our sins God, we have sinned against the heavens and the earth. Lord, I pray this morning we'll be obedient to the spirit of the living God. Lord, I pray we'll be obedient to the spirit of the living God. You are able this morning, mighty God. You are able this morning, mighty God. Lord, I pray we'll forget about ourselves this morning, Jesus, and cry out to the living God. Lord, sometimes we're caught up with our own selves, mighty God. But this morning, this morning, Jesus, we're here to worship. We're here to glorify the living God. So God, this morning, my God, Lord, this morning in the mighty name of Jesus, mighty God, I pray you'll take control, mighty God. Lord, I pray you will take control, mighty God. Lord, I pray you will take control this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty God, I pray you take control this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, pray you'll take control this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I pray you take control this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I pray you take control, mighty God. Take control of this service this morning, Jesus. There's nothing, hallelujah, nothing, God, you cannot do this morning. Nothing, hallelujah, Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. There's nothing God cannot do this morning. So if you come with a problem, you come to the right place. If you come with a baggage, you come to the right place. So I pray this morning, you will allow the Spirit of God to take full control of your situation. God is the God of the impossible. Why worry? Why worry this morning when you are serving the biggest God there is? The only God there is. Why worry? It is not too big for God to solve it. Bring it before the living God and leave it there. If you're sick this morning, you're in the house. You are in the house where there is healing. So this morning, allow God to take control of your situation. Allow God to do what he can do. Allow God to bless you this morning. So Father... Let your will be done this morning, Jesus. Father, let your will be done this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. You are God. You are God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. You are the resurrection, the truth, and the life this morning. And we glorify you. 
Hallelujah. Worship your God this morning. Worship your Lord this morning. Remember that he came to earth and he died. And for that we are worthy to stand in his presence this morning. So glorify God this morning in this place. Hallelujah. Glory be your name, Jesus. Now we will call on Sister Daniela Lampard to do our devotion. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. You are worthy. Worship the Lord. Hallelujah. You are God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Morning, church. Please turn your Bibles to Psalms 13. We're we'll reading 1 to 6. Mm -hmm. Psalms 13. Please listen while I read. How long with thou forget me, O Lord, forever? How long with thou hide thy face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long shall my enemies be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O God, my Lord. My Lord, my God, sorry. Lighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest my enemies say I have prevailed against him. And those that trouble me rejoice when I am moved. But I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. Six and last. I will sing unto the Lord because he hath dealt bountifully with me. And we ended a portion of God's only word. We honor it by saying, please turn your hymn now to 313. are gone. My Lord is ever standing by my side. A heavy load upon me, and yet I'm pressing on, because I found a Savior, friend, and guide. I have somebody
morning do you know the God who takes away all the burdens all your sorrows and all your pains this morning do you have somebody with you to share that heavy load hallelujah glory be your name God you are worthy hallelujah now we will have the welcome and announcement by sister Roper and sisters. It's good to be in the house of the Lord on this beautiful Palm Sunday. Now, I don't know about you, but when it's Palm Sunday, I am here with, my, oh Lord, a sister beat me to it. I am here with my praise. I'm here with my palm because it reminds me that God saves his people. He is here to save. And this morning, those who have their palms, I'm going to ask you, do not destroy Sister Kion Clark. Sister Kion Clark's decoration because she don't like when we trouble it. So if you never have your palm, wave your rag. We are going to just wave our palm this morning. Wave our rag this morning as we we remember when Jesus rode into Jerusalem and the people of God they shouted Hosanna which means a cry of help and God saves his people this morning that is why we are here on this blessed Sunday morning to worship the Lord and this morning we are in Liberty House we are free in God's house and so just wave your palms in the house of the Lord whatever you have wave your hands wave your rags hallelujah stand to your feet this morning praise team help me sing Hosanna as we welcome the blessed Trinity in our midst this morning hallelujah Hosanna blessed be the rock blessed be the rock of my
this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us save the rest of our praises as we go into the rest of the service. Let us not be afraid to remember this morning why we are here. Hallelujah. As we sing praises unto the King of glory. Hallelujah. And we say, blessed be the rock of my salvation this morning. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whew. I feel like I could just sing that song. Hosanna, King of glory. Blessed be the rock. And let the God of my salvation be exalted this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless his wonderful name. Hallelujah. At this time, let me acknowledge and welcome the presence of our host pastor, Bishop James Lewis, and our first and only lady, Sister Jacqueline Lewis. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. We bless God for them this morning. Let me welcome our praise and worship team, our musicians, our youth choir, dynamic voices. They look so lovely in their black and green. And we are praying this morning that they will sing just as lovely and twice as nice. Praise God and our hearts will be blessed. Hallelujah. Let me extend welcome to our usher team on duty. You will see them in blue, red, and white. They are the persons that you indicate to if you need assistance. So if you don't need to move, then you don't need to move. You can just indicate to them, and they will come over to you so that our service will remain orderly. Let me acknowledge and welcome our media team this morning. Put your hands together for them. They do such a wonderful job in helping this message to go forth to the rest of the world. God bless you all. Let me acknowledge our regular members, you wonderful, God's beautiful creation that are here this morning. Welcome to you. You know that service would not be the same without you. So we appreciate you and we love you. We love you being in the house of the Lord. Bless the Lord. Let me also say welcome to our second time visitors. And I am looking to see if our new converts, any of them are here. But if you're here, please stand where you are so that we can just lift you up in prayer and just celebrate you this morning. Yes! Put your hands together. Church, clap our better than that. Hallelujah! Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. We welcome you into the house of the Lord this morning. And church, I ask that you please, please remember them in your prayers. Let us pray for them earnestly that God will keep them. Praise the name of Jesus. Let me welcome those who are joining us via our social media page that's on Zoom. As you tune in from the comfort of your home, wherever you are this morning, we pray that God will bless you and that you will have a fulfilling morning in God's presence as we celebrate him this morning. God bless you. These are the day's announcements. Fasting service will be on Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. There will be no service here tonight. All roads lead to Cornwall Court New Testament at their cars in praise. And we ask that every person that usually comes here in the night and every person that usually don't, that you make your way to the Cornwall Court New Testament as we celebrate with them in their cars in praise. Amen, church? Amen. Bible study will be on Wednesday evening at 6.30 p.m. right here in the sanctuary. 
So we ask all our members to please come on out and let us study the word of God together. The youth department celebrates March as Bible reading month. The book to study is Romans. Garland New Testament invites us to their annual rally this evening at 7 p.m. And a group will be sent to represent the church. At the Cornwall Court, Stars and Praise this evening, the Women's Ministry Choir will be rendering the item, and Sister Lewis would like to speak to all the members and the choir this afternoon after service. Singles Ministry Meeting will be on Thursday, the 28th, that's early Thursday at 7 p.m., and we will be looking at fine dining and social graces in our meeting. The Montego Bay District of Churches Life Builders Ministry invites us to a marriage. Oh, it's not us. It invites the men to <laughs> a married man seminar called Married Men Have Struggles Too, and Lord knows they do. Guest speaker will be Reverend Althan Felwell. This will be on Thursday, March 28th at 5.30 p.m. at the Montego Bay New Testament Church of God. So we ask all our men, all the men in the house, please stand up. Oh, but I don't think nothing is wrong if single men go. <laughs> but they did say married men. So all the married men. Yes. Oh. Rev. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need eight. We need more married men in the church, Rev. If, if we didn't say married women, would I say holy for them stand up? So we need more married men. Rev, we have to go. Oh, Brother Crystal. Oh, Lord. We need more still. We need, when they say men, we need half of the church or more than half of the church men stand up because we need men to lead in the house of the Lord. So men, that's that one is for you. So that's this Thursday at 5.30 p.m. at the Montego Bay New Testament Church of God. Please make your way there and discuss your struggles. Learn how to get over them so that we will be better men. Praise the Lord. Amen. Youth Department District Praise Fest will be on April 19th. And all our young people and those who would like to join in the worship are asked to come out. Youth Congress will be on April 4 to 6 at the Convention Center. We would like to arrange transportation so that so persons who are interested in going are asked to speak with Sister Marie. Also, the fare is $3,500, and if today you have that extra $2,000 in your purse or in your wallet, you can come with your down payment to the office today. All right, brethren? Amen. Pastors and Leaders Conference will be on April 3rd. If you are planning to attend, please advise the office so that transportation can be arranged for you. The Women's Ministry Cars in Praise will be on April 7th. Tickets are available at a low cost. It's the first time ever seeing this church of $300. Now, I thought it was $3,000, but I saw $300. I am so shocked. I didn't know that choirs in praise, something like that could be so cheap. Yeah. I am so surprised, to be honest. So please purchase your tickets early and spread the word. If you are interested in getting your tickets today, I'm going to ask these three ladies to stand if you're here. Sister Mito, Sister Ro, and Sister Vilma. So these are the persons that are selling tickets at a cost of 3 Oh, Sister Anne-Marie, Scarlett, stand up, Sister Anne-Marie. 
And Sister Vilma, you're over there and you don't come inside, Sister Perlina, so the church can see you. So these are the four ladies that are selling these tickets so cheap. So I'm going to ask the church to go to them and buy six. Okay? So each person is asked to buy six. Praise the Lord. The Flanker New Testament invites us to their annual rally, and this will be on Tuesday, April 9th at 7 p.m. The Life Builders Choir is asked to represent the church. Glendavon New Testament Rally. I ain't playing with you, church. I'm not playing with the church this morning. Sister Abigail, I'm not playing. We need to get in gear for rally, you know, and we need to get all excited. And the more excited we get is the more money we're going to pay. So them your little um, soft excitement, you're not really bringing no money. So church, when I say Glendale New Testament, Sister Sienna, when I say Glendale New Testament rally, I need the church to erupt. Come on, church. The Glendale New Testament rally will be. We can do a little better now, but we are gear up. All right. Bless God. <laughs> Our annual rally will be on June 28th, and this is only four months away. Group leaders and members are asked to start taking in their contribution, and the choirs are asked to start beginning their preparation. Amen? Praise the Lord. I know the announcements are a bit lengthy today, but I'm asking you to please bear with me. The Women's Ministry Mother's Day Banquet will be on Sunday, May 12 at 4 p.m. at the Verney House Resort. Tickets will be sold for 8,000 cheap dollars. Praise the Lord, church. Now, I know us ladies, it's been a long time that we have gone out on a Mother's Day banquet. And of course, all the mothers in the house, please stand up. Mothers, if, if you're happy to be a mother, just jump to your feet, man. Just stand up. Yes. So, let me see. All the mothers... Stand up. And I'm looking at all the fathers and the husbands and the children that are working. And I'm asking us to help give our mothers a day to remember at this Mother's Day banquet put on by our very own Glendavon New Testament Women's Ministry Department. So listen, we are not going to make this flop. We are going to make this big. Right, Isamito? Yes, man. Praise the Lord. So, ladies, we look forward to seeing you. And for those mothers who did not stand up, if it is that you're not able to make it to the $8,000, don't be afraid to tell somebody. Come tell Sister Kian. I will give a sponsor. All right? Not you, no, Sister Mailar. So, Brother Mailar beside you. So, you don't come to me. <laughs> Bless the Lord. Good Friday morning sir, and Lord's Supper service will be on March 29th at 10 a.m. And that's right here in the sanctuary. So that's this Friday morning coming will be our Good Friday morning and Lord's Supper service at 10 a.m. Sister Loretta Mandison is in the hospital. The church is asked. Ask to remember her in prayer. Also, Sister Christia Samuel is not feeling well, and the church is asked to remember her also in prayer. Brethren, whenever we get these in the announcement, please let us remember to pray for our very own, our mothers, our sisters, and our friends. Let us remember them in our prayers this morning. Bless the Lord. Happy, birth, happy belated birthday greetings is going out to Sister Lurleen Watson, who celebrated her special day yesterday. And Sister Lurleen is all the way in England. Yes, but we want to celebrate her also. 
and I know she's tuned in this morning. Happy birthday greetings are going out to Brother Stanley Curtin, who will celebrate his on the 26th, I believe that is Tuesday, and Sister Donna Morris, who will celebrate hers on the 28th, that is Thursday, and she came by church to remind me that it's her birthday and it's Holy Thursday, and she wants me to let you all know that she's looking fine and fabulous at 67 years of age. So I am also going to remind you that she's a part of the singles ministry, so if any of you know anybody that seems to match her criteria, when you can just hand them over over to Sister Donna, all right? Yes, praise the Lord. So happy birthday to all of our wonderful celebrants. And I'm going to ask the praise team to come and sing the happy birthday song. And we will join in. Oh, Lord, March come out. I think his sister Clarlet said March not going with nothing last week. But March coming out, man. <laughs> All right, stand the, the persons that are Sister Nolan and Sister Leslie. Don't hide from us, okay? Praise the Lord. Happy birthday to you when it comes. And we trust that God will bless you. Praise team. Happy birthday to you. This is your day. You know that we love you in a very special way. Yay, oh. birthday to all our celebrants and we want you to know that we love you and we celebrate you may god bless you and may you live to see many many more years of celebrations to come happy anniversary greetings are going out to all those who are celebrating their sister mala who you're celebrating okay praise the lord celebrating their special day of love fire and desire Praise God. We pray that God will continue to bless your union and that as you blaze, you will be an example to all the other marriages around you. And God will bless you that you live to see many, many more years of fire catching moments. God bless you all. Do have yourselves a wonderful day. Praise the Lord. I know the announcements are a bit lengthy. And it still continues to be lengthy, brethren. All right, so I was just told that today is Brother Spence's birthday. Oh, I know Brother Spence is not here, but I'm going to ask the church to please stand up. He is one of our long-standing members, an elder in the church due to sickness. He's not able to come out as often as he would like to. But I'm going to ask you to put your hands together as we celebrate Brother Astley Spence this morning on his special day. Happy birthday to you, sir, and may God continue to bless you. These are the final announcements. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
All right, those were the final announcements. I hope that you will remember all that was said today and keep them right, jot down in a little notebook so we can remember all the events that we have to go to. Now we'll be having a special item by Jada Johnson. We bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Shall we lift up holy hands and praise the Lord? Praise if you have a testimony this morning, I want you to raise your hand and say, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Hallelujah. What words this morning? Praise God. Now we'll be moving to another aspect of worship. It's time for a celebration of praise where we sing, clap, and dance in the presence of the Lord as I turn over to the praise team. Hallelujah. 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 We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can the church stand with us this morning? For whenever we are weak, then our Lord's strength is made perfect 
in the time of our weakness. Whenever we get tired, it's right and opposes us this morning. And the oil that he has poured on our lives this morning bring refreshing to our hearts, to our mind, to our spirit, to every fiber of our being this morning. So in spite of what we are faced with, in spite of how we feel this morning, we have to know that we can enter into the gates of Almighty God with thanksgiving and we can come into his cause with praise this morning and we can be thankful up to him and we can bless his holy name for great and mighty is our God this morning great and mighty is our king this morning great and mighty is our rock this morning so I'm inviting the saints of God to come let's magnify the Lord this morning for he alone is worthy to be praised this morning from the rising of the sun to the going down the same the name of the Lord God is worthy to be praised this morning so come let's magnify the Lord come let's magnify the Lord for he is worthy to be praised oh come Let's magnify the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised.
Hallelujah. Can we give the Lord some praise in the house this morning? If he's here, a fan of this morning, lift up holy hands and magnify the name of Jesus Christ this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord God this morning. Blessed be the name of the Lord God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Most high. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Most Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Most high. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Most high. The name, the name of the Lord. A strong, a strong tower. The righteous run into it, and they are saved. The name of the Lord is where I strong tower. The righteous run into it, and they are saved. Jesus is, Jesus is the name of the Lord. 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 Holy 
run into it and we are saved this morning. We know that he's Osana in the highest this morning. And that is why this morning, our hallelujah, our hallelujah, our hallelujah has to go up to the most I got this morning. So my hallelujah belongs to you this morning. Hallelujah, all the glory, Lord, belongs to you this morning. Hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs. One more time, my hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you, Lord God Almighty. My hallelujah belongs to you. You deserve it this morning. You deserve.
We are standing under an open heaven. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Because of who you are, we give you glory. Because of who you are, we give you praise this morning. Who is like you this morning, God? None above you, none beneath you, none beside you. You are God this morning. You alone shall reign this morning. Reign supreme king of kings this morning. Sit upon your throne this morning. And the earth is your footstool. Glory to your name, mighty God. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Jesus, you are worthy. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Call him by his name this morning. Call him by his name this morning. Jesus is worthy to be praised this morning. He is worthy to be praised this morning. Hallelujah. Jesus, you are worthy, God. You are worthy, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now we'll be doing our tithes and offering. And as we stand to give God a portion of which he has blessed us with this morning. Because we know in God who we trust this morning. He is our source. He is our provider this morning. He is our defense this morning. And because of who he is, he gives us strength this morning to go out and work and plow the fields. And so because of that, we are carrying back into his storehouse this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. Brother Wedderburn will come and bless the offering. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, mighty God. We worship you in this place, God. Let us stand together. Father, we lift you up this morning. We praise you. David said, bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefit. Who had healed all thy disease, who has forgiven all thy iniquity. Father, we come to you this morning. God, we want to thank you for allow us to be back in your presence another time. God, we thank you for provide for us, O oh God, jobs. You said in your word, you are Jehovah Jireh, the Lord who provides. So we thank you this morning, O oh God, for the jobs that you had provided for us, God. And as we bring back a portion of what you had blessed us with, O oh God, you tell us in your word that we should bring the tithes and offering into your storehouse and to prove you. God, here we stand upon your word this morning. We pray in the name of Jesus that it bless Oh God, those who have to give this morning and those who have not to give, we pray, oh God, that you would supply all our need account to thy riches in glory by Christ Jesus. God, we commit today tithes and offering into your hand. We just want to thank you for your blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. Wonderful, wonderful, Jesus is to me. Counselor, Prince of Peace, mighty God is he. Saving me, keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise his name. Wonderful, wonderful, Jesus is to me. Counselor, Prince of Peace, mighty God is he. Saving me, keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise his name. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, Jesus is to me. Counselor, Prince of Peace, mighty God is he. Saving me, keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise his name. Oh, wonderful. 
wonderful Jesus is to me. Counselor, Prince of Peace, mighty God is he. He is saving me, keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise his name. Oh, wonderful, wonderful Jesus is to me. Counselor, Prince of Peace, mighty God is he. Saving me, keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise His name. Oh, wonderful, wonderful Jesus is to me. He's my counselor, Prince of Peace, mighty God is He. He is saving me, keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise His name. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, Jesus is to me. He's my counselor, Prince of Peace, mighty God is He. He is saving me, keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise His name. Wonderful, wonderful, Jesus is to me. He's my counselor, Prince of Peace, mighty God is he. He is saving me, keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise his name. Wonderful, wonderful, Jesus is to me. He's my counselor. From all sin and shame, wonderful is my Redeemer, praise His name. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, Jesus is to me. He's my counselor, Prince of Peace, mighty God is He. He is saving me, keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise Wonderful, wonderful, Jesus is to me. He's my counselor, Prince of Peace, mighty God is he. He is saving me, keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise his name. Yes, wonderful, wonderful, Jesus is to me. He's my counselor. Prince of Peace, mighty God is He. He is saving me, keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise His name. Wonderful, wonderful, Jesus is to me. Counselor, Prince of Peace, mighty God is He. Saving me, keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise His name. Wonderful, wonderful, Jesus is to me. Counselor, Prince of Peace, mighty God is He. He is saving me, keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise His name. Hallelujah. Now we'll be having the Dynamic Voices Choir, but before that, Reverend Lewis will announce the day's speaker. Come on, let me hear you praise the Lord, everybody. Let me hear you praise His name again. His name is above every other name, and we must lift up the name of the Lord Jesus. Put your hands together for Sister Simit. She did a fantastic job this morning in moderating the service. And may God's richest blessings continue to be upon her as she seeks to, to walk, you know, in the path of the, the Lord. Behold how good and pleasant it is 
for brethren to dwell together. Aren't you glad you are in the house of the Lord this morning? Amen. To lift up his wonderful name. It is now time for the, for the speaker. And we are blessed today with a wonderful servant of the Lord. One whom I've grown to love and to respect since I, I came on the, on the district. I found him to be a very committed and a dedicated person. And I know that the Lord has a word for, for us today as he speaks you know, through him. And I speak of no other person than Brother Sanjay Maris, our district youth director. Amen. And he's not alone because he, he has his beautiful wife here with him, Sister Maris, and some other persons are with, with him. And uh, I know his son is also here with him. Put your hands together for them, please. Praise the Lord. Amen. And I want us to open up today, right? I want us to receive the word. If it is for you, take it, what belongs to you, and just glorify the Lord. Because you will not leave here the way of you, you came. And again, I say he's a wonderful speaker. He's a wonderful cheer person. Anything you ask him to do, amen, he, he knows how to, how to do it. It's a great challenge. It's a, it's a powerful statement I've just made, but I guess it is understood. Amen. God, richest blessings be with you. Open yourself and receive the word in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. I invite our beautiful choir to give us the selection. And then when it's time for the preacher, please stand and receive him in Jesus' name. Bread of life sent down from glory. Many things you were on earth, a holy king, a carpenter, cause you are the living word sing. Bread of life sent down from glory. Many things. Sent down from glory, many things you were on earth, a holy king, a carpenter, you are the living word, say, bread of heaven, sent down from glory, many things you were on earth, a holy king, a carpenter. Awesome ruler, Gentile redeemer, God with us, the living truth, and what a friend we have in you. Awesome ruler, Gentile redeemer, God with us, the living truth. And what a friend we have in you. Awesome ruler, Gentile redeemer, God with us, God with us, the living truth. And what a friend we have in you. Jesus, Jesus, that's what we call you. Major boy, but on a tree you died to save humanity. You are the Jesus, Jesus, that's what we call you. Major boy, 
manger boy. Jesus, Jesus, that's what we call you, Major Boy. That's what we call you, Jesus, Jesus, that's what we call you, Jesus, Jesus, that's what we call you, Jesus, Jesus, that's what we call you, Major Boy. You are the living word. You are the living word. You are the living word. Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we call the name of Jesus? What do we call him this morning? We call him the name of Jesus. Somebody shout the name of Jesus. Come on, put your hands together for the Glen Devon New Testament Youth Choir. The Lord continue to bless them as they grow in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated for a minute. It's good to be back in the Glen Devon New Testament Church of God. Amen. It's good to see all God's wonderful people on such a day like this, on a Sunday morning, when they praise God as he rode through Jerusalem. And it meant somebody, are you happy that God rode through Jerusalem? It means that he had the victory this morning. Lift your hands and shout a hallelujah. I must greet the host pastor, the shepherd. And sometimes you laugh when I say this, the top general. General. Reverend Lewis, he's my boss. Jenna, Jenna, the old people don't know those sayings, you know. The young people know what I'm talking about. Not true, youth choir. When we say Jenna, Jenna, you know, say the real general me I talk about. Yeah, but for, for, for my elders, the boss himself, yes? And I greet Sister Lewis. It's good to see you. Beautiful and amazing woman of God. And the beautiful one that's sitting in the crowd. Good morning. It's good to see you. I greet the officers of this church, the leaders of this church, the priest team, the moderator, the musicians, the congregation, those who are watching online. I greet you in the name of Jesus. God is good. And all the time, my beautiful wife is in the house this morning. I feel like I can say that again. My beautiful wife is in the house this morning. Can I ask her to stand? So I have to say this. The other day they had Miss Soft Spring. Do you know who came out the reigning queen? That was my beautiful wife. And I can tell you, you see, you see how I look good? She's the reason why I look this good. You know, before I was married, I looked okay. But from I got married, I looked dapper. Thanks to my wife. Amen. My mother is also here this morning. I'm going to invite my mother to stand. See, and I, I, I won't tell you her age, but if I tell you her age, you would be shocked. 
She will be 60 next year, January. And look at that beautiful woman. They always say short people don't show age. And then my cousin, the beautiful Chantel, is in the house. I'm going to ask her to stand. That's my beautiful cousin. If there's any single man in Glendevan that loves God, she's single. But you have to see her manager, and her manager is me. So you come through me, and then we can work it. I want to hear how you sound and see if you pass the exam. You know, and then I will introduce you to her. So you have to sign the contract, and then I give you over to her. Amen. Yes, man, I know Glen, uh, single men in a Glendivan, Rev. Don't worry yourself. Um, you know someone, Rev. Talk to me after church. And then, <laughs> and then the little one that God gave us three years ago. You see, this tablet, he decided that he should destroy the rubber of the tablet. Two years ago. Yes, August coming is three. The little Malachi Morris. Malachi, shout hallelujah, let them hear you. Here you go. That's my boy. He's a Pentecostal baby. Amen, somebody. And so, Rev, if you allow me, I'm going to invite my wife to sing this special song. So I invite my wife to come. And she's a singer. I will help her. <laughs> Clap her as she comes. The beautiful Reverend Chani Morris. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Greetings, Glendavon. Answer me better than that man. Greetings, Glendavon. Hallelujah. In holy pages, this truth can be found. A promise to stand on when darkness abounds where I never lose it and wrong never wins and grace will always be greater The choices we've made, sin has a price, and so often we've paid. But Jesus is waiting, new hope is in Him, and grace. Time and again, 
choices are made. Sin has a price and so often we paid. But Jesus is waiting. New hope is in him. And grave will If you know it, can you sing along? Somebody lift your hands and shout a hallelujah. If you know that God's grace will always be greater than sin, stand on your feet, lift your hands and magnify God. This morning we come to praise Him, hallelujah. This morning we come to salute Him. Can somebody go ahead and shout the name of Jesus? Somebody lift your hands, open up your mouth, uh, and shout the name of Jesus. Uh, he is worthy to be praised. Uh, from the rising of the sun uh, to the very going down of the same, God uh, is worthy to be praised. Uh, open up your mouth, wave your hands uh, in this atmosphere, uh, and salute the Son of Man. Uh, salute the King of Kings, all hail uh, King Jesus. Hallelujah to God. If you have your Bibles, grab your Bibles real quickly. Hallelujah. God's grace will always be greater than sin. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, God's grace, hallelujah, will always be greater than sin. Whatever you have done, wherever you have been, God's grace will always be greater than sin. It's grace is sufficient this morning. John 12, reading from verse 12 to verse 19. If you have found it, say amen. John 12, from verse 12 to verse 19. Amen? And it reads, On the next day, much people that were come to the feast when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, took branches of palm trees and went forth to meet him and cried, Hosanna, blessed is the king of Israel that cometh in the name of the Lord. And Jesus, when he had found a young ass, sat thereon as it is written, Fear not, daughters of Zion, behold, thy king cometh, sitting on an ass coat. These things understand not his disciples at the first. 
But when Jesus was glorified, then remember that, they, the, that these things were written of him and that they had done these things unto him. The people thereof that was with him when he called Lazarus out of his grave and raised him from the dead be a record. For this cause the people also met him, for that they heard that he has done this miracle. The Pharisees therefore said among themselves, Perceive ye how you prevail nothing. Behold, the world is gone after him. The word of the Lord has already been blessed. Let the church say, Amen. Father, we give you thanks even now. We ask, Lord, that you'll take authority over this very atmosphere. I pray, Almighty God, that Sanjay will decrease, Lord, that you will increase, that you will arise and the enemy be scattered even now. I pray, Almighty God, that the word will go forth with clarity, with power, with strength, with might, and with understanding. I pray that you'll cover us in this atmosphere. Do what you will as we give you thanks. In Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated. Now, I want you to journey with me this morning, amen. I'm not a long preacher, so if you see me going on too long, just go like this, and it means time out, yes? But if the word suits you, I don't think that you'll go like that, amen? Now, I want you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, what is the shout about? Look at somebody else and say, neighbor, what is the shout about? Do you know what the shout is about? So I do hope that by the end of this message, we will all figure out the answer. What is the shout about? And so I want you to journey with me for a minute, all right? So we'll go into the word and then we'll let the Lord have his way. Amen. So the four gospels as we know them, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, is to proclaim the good news of what God has done in and through Jesus Christ so that people would respond by repentance. In one sense, my brothers and sisters, this is the most serious literature you will ever read. And in another sense, it is the best news you could ever hear. Here. Hence, their primary source of information is about the life, the teachings, the death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Is the, word, is, the, is the church with me this morning? However, John's gospel is slightly unique that, than the other three gospels, which is also known as the synoptic gospels. Synop, synop, synoptic meaning that they are similar. They provide a stark contrast in a side-by-side -side comparison to the gospel of John. One example of this is that in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, they begin with Jesus' story with a miraculous birth. However, in John's gospel, my brothers and sisters, the story of Jesus begins with Jesus and God, the creator of the universe, on equal footing. John began by saying, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was? Amen. The church is with me. So John wanted the readers to know from the get-go that Jesus is the miracle maker himself. He made us know, my brothers and sisters, that Jesus is the word of God, the word made flesh. He points out things that the other three synoptic gospels didn't. In Mark, my brothers and sisters, and you can read, you can just write down the verses and to get a better understanding when you go home, you can read through the different texts. In Matthew 21 verse 8 and in Mark 11 verse 8 it says that the multitude spread their garments in the way while others cut down branches from trees and placed them in the way. Luke, my brothers and sisters, did not even go ahead and talk about the trees. He just went ahead and he just talked about the people laying down their garments garments is the church with me however john wanted us to understand the tree that would the branches of the tree that was used when jesus was riding in to jerusalem amen church and so if you look at matthew and mark they only say 
branches of trees. Luke did not even mention trees. He just talked about uh, their clothes laying down. Amen, church. And so John now decided, hey, I'm going to go more in-depth because this tree, the branches that was used of this tree symbolizes two things. Are you with me? And so John, my brothers and sisters, in his text, uh, help us to understand that the tree that was used was that of the palm tree. The palm trees, my brothers and sisters, symbolizes two things. It symbolizes peace and it symbolizes victory. It symbolizes peace and it symbolizes victory. If you read in the book of Judges, uh, chapter 4 and chapter 5, Judges 4 and 5, and you can write it down and you can read it when you go home. It talks about uh, the only prophetess, the only judge in the Bible that we know as Deborah. Amen. When Deborah wa 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 was prophesying over Israel, she went under the palm trees. Amen, church. Are you with me? Are you following with me, church? Uh, the only female judge, when she judged Israel, was under the palm tree and so the bible call it the palm tree of deborah are you with me church it was there she brought peace to those who were confused and victory to those who were struggling my brothers and sisters the story in john goes on a little further and it tells us that jesus rode in on a donkey in olden days kings and significant people rode donkeys by riding one my brothers and sisters jesus stole his supporters and people of jerusalem that he was a king not just an ordinary king but a king that had divine authority is the word is the church with me this morning and just like the palm tree a donkey also symbolizes meanness and peace. Uh, back in the days when a king wanted to war, he would come in a chariot or he would come riding on a horse. And horse meaning that he came to war. However, Jesus rode in on a donkey which symbolizes meanness and peace. Do I have a church with me this morning? Not only that, my brothers and sisters, but Jesus rode in on a donkey to fulfill a prophecy that was declared in Zechariah 9 verse 9 and you can write it down and you can read it when you go home it was prophesied my brothers and sisters that their Messiah would be coming to them humble and mounted on a donkey hence people place their garments and palms on the ground that not even the off of the donkey touch the ground. Do I have a church with me? They were shouting Hosanna. Blessed is the king of Israel who cometh in the name of the Lord. And so John, my brothers and sisters, gave us more details. But can I draw our attention to Luke? And so John, my brothers and sisters, told us uh, the, the tree that was used and what it symbolizes. However, as I said before, Luke did not even decide to talk about the tree. Luke, on the other hand, my brothers and sisters, wanted us to know that the people rejoiced and they began to praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen. Luke emphasis is not even on the waving of branches my brothers and sisters but he wanted us to know who was in the crowd on that very day my brothers and sisters there were two multitudes can I talk to the church a minute there was one who heard uh, what Jesus had done how he raised Lazarus from the dead and so they were there waiting on this man to see who this man is not only about Jesus but they wanted to see this Lazarus that he had raised so the people were there and they were waiting on him my brothers and sisters but there was another crowd who saw what Jesus could do 
And so as they went before him, they came to tell the people that he is a miracle working God. He healed the blind man. My God, anybody in here can testify that God is a miracle working God, my brothers and sisters. And so one were there looking to see this man. And there was another testifying to them about who this man is. I believe the reason why my brothers and sisters, sometimes we have people come into church, sit silent and dead. is because they have never had an experience with Almighty God. Is the church with me this morning? So they come and when you shout, they look at you. When you run, they look at you. When you jump, they look at you. And they say to you that it doesn't take all that to worship Almighty God. And so it begins, it, it starts from looking to criticizing your praise. But there is another set of people in Glen Devon New Testament Church of God who have had an experience with God and they know that it takes all that and a bag of chips to praise God and so the reason they come into church is because when they think of the goodness of almighty God is the church with me this morning and what he has done for you all they can do is come into church and dance a little bit in his sanctuary I saw my brethren running around in God's church not too long ago he did not care what people wanted to say he was running in victory so when you come to church Glen Devon if you need to shout shout if you need to dance dance because when I think of the goodness of almighty God I was sick unto the point of death, but look what the Lord, look what the Lord, hallelujah to God, look what the Lord has done. There were so many people in the crowd, my brothers and sisters, that had witnessed the miracle working of Almighty God. Do I still have a church with me? And so as I read through Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, I said there must have been certain people that was in that crowd. There was a woman with an issue of blood. For 12 long years, my people, she went to the best doctors. They could not do anything about it. She went to the best specialists. And they could not do anything about it. Uh, but somebody said that she tried Jesus. Uh, uh, there are some people uh, in church uh, when they are sick. Uh, they do not go to the true and living source. Uh, they go to the doctor. And when the doctor can't help them, uh, they go to all different type of specialists. Uh, and when the specialist can't help them, uh, here comes a family member. Uh, here comes a friend uh, that says, you know me. Me no one man up there so. Me no one woman down there so. People have gone to her. People have gone to him. And he has healed them. But the woman with the issue of blood, my brothers and sisters, she heard that Jesus was passing by. And she went through the crowd. And she said, if I could only touch the hem of his garment, my God. The woman swept through the crowd. When you are thirsty for God, you have to know to bounce off and push off. When you need miracle from God, you have to know how to tell people to stay one side because Jesus is passing by. And the Bible said immediately after 12 long years, dripping stop. I can only imagine the woman looking at the people who wanted to see who this Jesus done, who Jesus was. And she said he healed my body he saved my soul he baptized me with the holy ghost 
Can I talk to the people of God? The Bible said immediately when she touched the hem of Jesus' garment, she was made whole. I want to believe, my brothers and sisters, that not only she was in the crowd, but blind Bartimaeus, that he was in the crowd. He was blind on the wayside. Big guy, oh God Almighty, where is the church? He heard that Jesus was passing by, and I hear blind Bartimaeus, Jesus, oh son of David, have mercy upon me. My God, can I talk to the church a minute? The people in the crowd, they try to shut him up. You ever did a church and somebody tried to shut up your prayer? But the man had a need. He wanted to see. And just as how them set up your nice boy, he said, Jesus, thou son of David. And they said, shut up, boy. The praise got a little louder. He said, Jesus, thou son of David. Them said, boy, tap in eyes. Anybody thirsty for something from God? When them tell us to tap in eyes, say, Jesus, thou son of David. Can I talk to the church a minute? That the same people that tried to hush him up Jesus shut them up he said hey bring him to me when he went to almighty God he said he said Lord, Lord ask him what do you desire of me to do and he said I want to see again oh God almighty can somebody shout immediately sight was given unto him I hear blind Bartimaeus of singing amazing grace how sweet the sound where is the church in Glendivon that saved a wretch like me I want was lost but no one found I hear blind Bartimaeus shouting I was blind but no one see the Bible said immediately he received his sight. Oh, hallelujah to God. Somebody lift your hands and shout hallelujah. Look at your neighbor again. Ask your neighbor the question. Do you know what the shout is about? Lord Jesus. Look at somebody else and say neighbor. From what you have been hearing. Do you know what the shout was about? Oh, God Almighty, I want to believe that that one leper that came back to thank Jesus, the Bible said there were 10 of them and only one came back and said, thank you. Oh, Jesus was passing by, my brothers and sisters. Oh, God, in those days when you have leprosy, the Bible says you could not go to and you could not stay beside anybody who do not have that disease our God as you but Jesus you know what's funny while I was reading the verse it came to my understanding that sometimes we want the healing as soon as we ask God for it some of us yes I know it's hard sometimes and you want you want Jesus to just burst open heaven and just dash upon you without warning Oh, God Almighty. But Jesus said, okay, I'm going to test your faith this morning. The Bible said that Jesus said, go down to the priest. Can I tell you something? That right there, it did not happen immediately. God was watching to see where their faith lies. Sometimes we're in some position. The only reason why God has not healed us as yet is because Him know as soon as we get the healing, we put him back down one side. Gone boy with business. We did it all long and we sick. I have seen it. Man could not walk for years. Right down there in Linstead fasting. Could not walk for years, my brothers and sisters. Which is why when I talk about God, I don't talk because what my mother and my father told me. I talk because I've seen experience. Man could not walk for about 10 years. Man come a fasting. Fasting upon fire. 
the raw Holy Ghost came down in Linstead New Testament Church. Uh, a man dash with crutch stick. Uh, so them call it uh, and start run run Linstead Church. Uh, my God, the church, you know, we are Pentecostal people. So when you see that man, I pray, send up in a God's house. Uh, they said one year later, man, no member same, get him healing. Instead of man walking a church, man walking a bar. Man walk down a party. Start smoke again because healing come. Huh? One year later, man gone right back in a wheelchair. Met into an accident. Huh? And foot was broken. Huh? And he was crippled. Huh? God, he healed you. I say this to say to somebody. Be careful. Huh? Be careful. God, huh? he is also a God of wrath. Huh? And when he healed you, huh? stay at the foot of the cross. Huh? Because just when you feel like life is high and mighty, he can take you right back down huh? oh god but the leprosy the man with leprosy god sent him on his way to the priest huh? but can i tell somebody before he reached the priest my god leprosy began to heal if not reach the priest yet you know man realized the leprosy dry up and you're telling me that my god is not worthy to be praised and so he had to walk in the crowd. And he had to tell them, listen man, I had leprosy. I could not stand beside anybody that was on sick. I was an outcast. But I hear the songwriter says, look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. Let the church shout hallelujah. I look into the story again. And I fail to believe my brothers and sisters. That the 5,000 people that Jesus fed could not be in the crowd. They had to be in the crowd. They were hungry. And there was a little boy with five fishes and two loaves. My God Almighty. Mm. And he gave it to Jesus as, an, as a gift. The Bible says that Jesus held up the gift to God. That he thanked God for it and he broke it. Jesus then gave the disciples the issue out. And I can just imagine my brothers and sisters that every time they went into the bag, you see more fish are come out. Every time they went into the basket, you see more loaf are come out. The Bible says that there was so, it is a large amount that they even had leftovers. I'm talking about from five, five, lo five loaves and two fishes. They dig, Lord God. They go in the bag, Rev. And they go in the bag. And I can just imagine the disciples being puzzled. Hold on, what they go on? What they go on? And them dig. Can I talk to Glenn Devon this morning? Huh? Have you ever been hungry before? My God Almighty. You go into the store basket. You pull the cupboard. And not even sardine for eat with little bread. Huh? There is nothing. No, nobody not understand what me they talk about. Huh? Everybody eats steaks and pork and chicken and oxtail. Huh? Uh, so you don't understand. There were days huh, when there was no food in the house. Huh? When you look up them always the Jamaican people always have at least one tin of jack mackerel in the cupboard but you went into the cupboard and there was no tin food you went into the fridge there was no meat you look at the table there was no egg anybody know what I'm talking about you went to the bank because you said yes man at least there must be one thousand dollars that I can draw and buy even two pound of mix because two pound a mix part are three hundred and sixty dollars now, and when you buy two pound a mix part, you have to buy two pound a rice that's a two hundred dollar to five hundred and sixty. You cannot eat the dry food, so you have to buy a little Kool Aid. You can't buy one cast of sour, so you have to buy two Kool Aid. You have to buy sugar, and you have to buy cooking oil to cook the meat. But when you swipe the card, Lord God, can I talk to the church? All you can see is insufficient fun my god but then when you were worried when you were stressed when you were crying can i talk to the church this morning god sent some 
destiny helpers uh, to put food in your house. Uh, Lord God, you ever out of clothes uh, and when you look back at clothes, just start come. Uh, you have clothes with today, tomorrow, next year. You have shoes or uh, even dry rotten ladies uh, because you have too much to wear. Uh, that is the God that you serve. Uh, and so I joined in with the songwriter uh, that declared there's been so many times uh, that I didn't have a dime. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Uh, I tell nobody uh, but my Lord, uh, my Savior, hear my plea. Uh, he see about me. Uh, he is my all in all. Uh, when you push me down, uh, Jesus picks me up. Uh, he stand by my side. Uh, when the going gets rough, uh, take care of my enemies. Uh, when they start to get tough, uh, and that's enough. Uh, I love the chorus. Uh, he said, it saved me. That's enough. Uh, he keeps me. That's enough. Uh, he feed you. That's enough. Uh, when you're hungry, that's enough. Because uh, you've got... I've got Jesus. <laughs> I ask the question again. Do you know the reason why you shout? Hallelujah to God. What is the shouting, you know? I said it to my wife. And we both laugh, you know. I think, I, I think I'd say to her, what you think about, like, what is the shout about? And I'm looking to myself and I'm saying, what kind of team that may they bring to the people them church? But as I read through the scriptures, Luke said the people rejoice over the mighty works, what the Lord had done. That is what the shout was about. One crowd was looking to see who this man is. But the crowd that went ahead of him saw the miracles. So they had to rejoice knowing what the Lord has done. But can I talk to the church for a minute? The same people. Oh God. Same people that was rejoicing saying that this is the Messiah. About Thursday. The same people said false alarm. Father, alarm, wrong prophet. This cannot be the Messiah. Sad state. The same people that believe that he was the prophet that Moses spoke about. The same people that put down palms on the floor. That not even the hoof of the donkey could touch the ground. Later down in the week, they started to doubt. This cannot be the son of man. Are you still with me, church? But I want to say to us that the victory did not come when he rode into Jerusalem. The victory did not come huh, when he was nailed on the cross. Ah, oh God, sometimes I look at that story and I'm so upset. They nail his hands, they pierce his side, and they pronounce him dead. They jeered him. They laughed after him. And even when he went down into the tomb, that's not when the victory happened. Because when he was down in the tomb, my brothers and sisters, death still had the victory over him. And I know it's not Easter Sunday, but I could not help myself. On the third day, my God Almighty, on the third day, somebody shout third day. Early the angel of the Lord came down. Hi, hi. There was an earthquake, my brothers and sisters. Woo. There was a shaking, my brothers and sisters. Hallelujah to God. Hey, the angel came down and they sat, my brothers and sisters. And they burst the tomb. Ha. And he rose up triumphantly. Hiya. You know when we got the victory, I hear Jesus saying that he has given me all powers and authority over heaven and over earth. 
that. So can I tell you the reason why I show Reverend Lewis? Can I tell you the reason why I shout Glenn Devon? I shout because I am redeemed. I've been bought with a price. Laman de Kotoshai. Jesus uh, has changed my whole life. Uh, if anybody asks you, aye, 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 uh, just who I am, uh, tell them uh, that I've been uh, redeemed. Uh, can I talk to Glendivon? Uh, you know the reason why I shout. Uh, I know it was the blood, Shalik. Uh, I know it was the blood. Uh, that saved me <laughs> one day when I was lost. Ay, 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 ay. Jesus died upon the cross. <laughs> I know it was the blood <laughs> that saved me. <laughs> Can I talk to Glendison? <laughs> you know the reason why I shot mommy. <laughs> it reaches, hallelujah, <laughs> to the highest mountain. Ay, ay, ay. And and it flows uh, to the lowest valley. Uh, oh, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Uh, somebody show the blood of Jesus. Uh, somebody show the blood of Jesus. Uh, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Uh, the bl that gives me strength uh, from day to day. It will never lose uh, its power. Uh, you know why I shout. I do not praise Haley Selassie. I do not praise Buddha. I praise the man that rose again on the third day. So can I sing this song and give over the mic? Give me Jesus in the morning. Give me Jesus in the evening. Every minute of the day. Give me Jesus. He's my reason for living. He's my source of survival. Every minute, every hour, every second. Give me Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Give you Jesus in the morning. Woo. Jesus in the evening. Oh, every minute of the day. Stand in the church. Give me Jesus. Oh, give me Jesus in the morning. Woo. Jesus in the evening. Clap your hands. Oh, every minute of the day. Is my source of survival every minute of the day? Give me Jesus. Oh, when all my friends forsake me, good God, seems like all is lost. I call on the name of Jesus in in my future life. And when my soul is cast down, good God, and what way looks dark, he humbly come and whisper, child, your future is bright. For he's my reason for living, he's my source of survival. For every minute of the day, give me Jesus. Can I hear the church? Oh, I need him in my walking. God, I need him in my talking. Oh, every minute of the day, give me Jesus. I need him, I need him, I need him in my walking. Holy Ghost, for I need him in my talking. For every minute of the day, give me Jesus. Oh, I know it was the blood. Good God. I know it was the blood, for I know it was the blood, save me, for one day when I was lost, for Jesus died upon the cross, for I know it was the blood, save me, put your hands together, hey, I know it was the blood, good God Almighty, I know it was the blood, it was the blood set me. Oh, oh, what day when I was lost? Oh, Jesus died upon that cross. Oh, I know it was the blood. Can I do this now? 
last one, Jesus. For I'm going to stay right under the blood. I'm going to stay right under the blood. Where is the church? I'm going to stay right under the blood. So the enemy can do me no harm. I'm going to stay right under the blood. Good God. I'm going to stay right under the blood. I shout because I'm happy. I shout because I am free. Ooh. And so I invite somebody to this altar. I'm done preaching. Who needs a miracle from Almighty God? Aye. As a day like this, that's why we call it Palm Sunday. A morning like this, when you ride on on the donkey. <laughs> They praise God for his mighty acts. They praise him for his wonderful work. The same God that was dead is the same God who is alive and well, sitting at the right hand of the Father as the intercessor. I invite somebody to this altar this morning. Hallelujah. I am free. Glory to God. Praise the Lord, I'm free, free. hallelujah. No, no longer bound, no, no more chains holding me. My soul is resting, hallelujah. It's, it's just, just another, another blessing. Yeah, yeah. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. your permission can I ask Reverend Shanique to come and pray praise the Lord hallelujah hallelujah somebody I'm declare free. praise the Lord praise the Lord somebody declare praise the Lord one more time praise the Lord go ahead somebody here praise the Lord Somebody wave your hands for victory. Praise the Lord. Ay, 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 ay. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 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 Do I have any free people at this altar this morning? If you know that you are free, lift your hands and shout. Praise the Lord. Ay, 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 ay. Hallelujah. It is the highest praise. Hallelujah. It is the highest praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus.
Jesus. Hallelujah to your name, Almighty God. Father, we just want to give you thanks this afternoon, Almighty God. Because of who you are, God, we give you all the glory. Because of who you are, Almighty God, we give you all the praise. It is because of who you are why we have a shout this afternoon. And so, God Almighty, I declare over your people, those who feel bound and feel shackled, I pray, Almighty God, for freedom over them right now. We declare, Almighty God, that their chains have been broken. We declare, Holy Spirit, that their shackles are gone. In the name of Jesus, we declare free people upon this altar in the mighty name of Jesus as you have declared it on the cross that it is finished we declare over your people and mighty God that it is finished in the name of Jesus it is finished in the earth realm and it is finished in the spiritual realm and we call it done almighty God have your sweet way upon this altar cause your people to encounter you like never before cause them to leave the shackles at this altar almighty God and take up your yoke because it is easy and your burden is light. Oh, Prince Emmanuel, ride in this afternoon on the behalf of your people, Almighty God. Oh, great Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nissi, Jehovah Gabor, the man of war. We, Prince Emmanuel, we call upon you this afternoon and we welcome you into the sanctuary that chains will be broken, that those who are broken will be set free. In the name of Jesus, we declare Almighty God and we speak to spiritual chains broken. We declare Almighty Almighty God, that mental chains are broken in this place. We declare that financial chains have been set loose in the name of Jesus. We declare that sickness, Almighty God, is no more because by your stripes, oh God, we are healed. And as we usher in your presence, we say, take control, Almighty God, and do what only you can show up and show up for your people and the job almighty God we declare Jesus in the street we declare Jesus upon this altar we declare Jesus in our families we declare Jesus on the job we declare Jesus in our children in the name of Jesus every broken heart we declare healing now those who are sick, God, we put them before you. God, your word declared that healing is your children's bread. So feed us now. In the name of Jesus, oh, feed those who are broken now. In the name of Jesus, oh, Almighty God, that one who is plagued, Almighty God, with depression and oppression, we declare that their minds have been set free. We speak Jesus over your mind even now. In the name of Jesus. And I declare that your shackles are gone. Hallelujah. I declare that you have been set free. In the mighty name of Jesus. And he has declared on the cross that it is finished. And so God Almighty will declare it is finished. And like the Shinamite woman who said that it is well. We declare that when your people leave this altar almighty God. That they will walk in wellness. In the name of Jesus. They will walk and declare that this is you that has done it. Or you have showed up and show off in Glendavon. Have your way now, Holy Ghost. As we give you all the thanks and all the praise. May your name be glorified in the highways and the byways, Almighty God. Cause your people to come back and testify that you have done it. Let them not be like the others, Almighty God. But they will come back and declare that you, God, have 
done it again. You have won the victory. And all the daughters will hang their head in shame. And every tongue that has been risen up against them shall cleave to their jaws. In the name of Jesus, oh Prince Emmanuel, move upon this altar. Cause a wave of worship upon this altar. In the name of Jesus, as we fan the flames of those who are burning out. In the name of Jesus, we declare resurrection. We declare restoration. We declare revival. And everything that has been declared dead shall risen again. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Come on, lift up your hands and worship the Lord, everybody. Come on, worship God again, everybody. Why the shout? Why the shout, Glen Devon? Why the shout? Glen Devon, why the shout? Because the healer is here. Hallelujah. Why the shout? Hallelujah. The deliverer is here. Man passing through with the power is here. Come on, lift up your hands and shout. Lift up your hands and shout. Can you tell why they shout? Can you tell why they shout? Hallelujah! God, God is in this place. Praise God. Why are they dancing? Why are they shouting? Why are they praising? Because the Prince of Peace, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, is passing through. Those persons who were there when Lazarus was raised from the dead, they started shouting, What a word! What a word today. Come on, clap your hands. I tell you, I tell you something. And I'm closing now. I tell you something. When I wanted a preacher to preach today, I said, God, I'm not preaching today. I want you to give me a preacher. God just said, call Brother Sanjay. Believe me. And I took up the phone and called him. He said, Brother Sanjay, I want you to preach in Glendevan for me today. And it's Palm Sunday. And the argument done. And God has given him a word. Amen, somebody. Why did he shout? Put your hands together for him. I want to thank God very much for him. I thank God for, for Sister Morris. I thank God for those who would have come with him. And while he was preaching, and I sat there, I said, God, if a church was on the Glendavan district, if an uh, extra church was here, Lord God, what, what, what did you just say? That but I give him. But God knows everything. But I, I have a dream. And it's a, it's a good dream. I have a vision that one day they will be standing around their pulpit. Amen. Preaching the word of the Almighty God. And I, I, I hope it is soon. Brother Sanjay, because you have what to offer. Amen? And you have more to offer. And with a wonderful lady like Sister Morris by your side, you working together, hell start to tremble already. Amen? I see them doing great things for the Almighty God. And so on behalf of the, the youth department, we want to say thanks for accepting the invitation and the officers and the members and for coming and sharing today in such a wonderful way. God bless every one of you. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. We want to see what Good Friday service. It's a yearly service. You cannot, you know, afford not to be here on Friday. So I look forward to seeing you. We begin 10 a.m. sharp in the name of the Lord Jesus. Come and let us magnify the Lord. Boys and girls, carry the young, carry the lame, carry everybody, and let us exalt the name of God. God bless you. 
thank every one of you for coming to church today. May you continue to make Glendevon your worship center. And please don't come alone. Bring your husband, bring your wife, bring your, your children, your cousin, everybody who you can bring, bring them. And don't forget the Sunday school. The Sunday school is on fire. The Sunday school broke out. Amen. Blazing in every corner. And if, if you want to get some good Sunday school teaching, just come to Glendevon Sunday School. And you will hear some wonderful teachers teaching the word of the Almighty God. The island, they were prayed for already. Amen. Bless the name. Uh, somebody gave me another one. Who was the other person? Okay. Praise the Lord. And I've prayed also for Sister Christia Samuels. That, that's nurse. I just prayed for her. That God will heal her body. And Sister Manderson, who is in the hospital, one of our mothers. Okay. I've prayed for her. And we are expecting great things to happen for them. Amen, church? Keep the fire. You have her number. Those of you who can give her a call or give them a call, please, you know, give them a call and let them know that we'll continue to, to pray for them. Could ladies, choir, members, sister Lois would like to, to speak with you. And those of you who I talked to oh, last night concerning the rally for where? So, no. Where? Garland, please. Meet me after church too, please. God bless you. Could you please stand everybody? Oh, the hundred dollars match? Oh, uh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Come hundred dollars, people. <laughs> yeah. The hundred dollars match. It's a regular thing on Sunday for the, for the youth department. So come sister moderator and usher. Okay, just come and give her the the hundred dollars before I pronounce the benediction, please. We don't want to. There, there, there is something in, in, in the hair. Uh, please come and yes, they are, they are coming. They are coming. The make up their report. Amen. Yes. Don't watch the basket. Her hands are very. No, I never say begin on the cut. Now tell me, say make all her hand begin on. Okay. <laughs> Father, bless your children as they are coming with their offering. May you sanctify the offering. May you bless their life and allow them to continue to experience manifold blessings from you. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, remember, it's a fifth Sunday, so the, the sanctuary choir will be singing. That's next week, Sunday, so please get themselves ready. Uh, I, I think I'll talk. There may be some combined choir, choir yeah, the combined choir, the women's ministries, and the, and the sanctuary choir will combine and sing. Oh, no. All right. All right. God bless you. Could you please stand, everybody? So, combined choir, prepare to sing Easter Sunday. Raise your hand. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Henceforth and forevermore shall we all say, Amen.